Some of the most common sights that greet commuters driving into Lagos Island are the cluster structures that leave little or no space between buildings. Some of these buildings in the Obalinde area have weakened over time and residents live in constant fear that any one of the buildings can collapse at any time, such as the October 2020 disaster that left eight people dead. As part of its mega city project, the Lagos State Government is holding a stakeholders engagement with residents of the area to discuss regeneration for the community. General Manager of the Urban Renewal Agency kicks off the discussions and holds nothing back, saying Obalende has lost its glory, which must be restored without displacing anyone. We want to find solution for regenerating Obalende into a modern 21st century um, uh, um, community that we can all be proud of. We know you live in Obalende, you work in Obalende, so there is a need to make sure that your interest is properly taken care of. That's the first set of amendment. The Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development is also here and says the regeneration plan cuts across many local government areas and the state government is seeking the residents' cooperation. This is the first set of amendment. The amendment is going to go at several levels. So everybody, every person, no matter how small, you are a stakeholder, our government will be dialogue with you. We will present our plans and I hope that our coming together will signal in the demands of the new of our new some share their views on the issue. Lagos State Government, we appreciate the effort you are putting in to make Obalinde a better place. And we in Obalinde are not sleeping as well. We know what you want. We will work with you to give you what you want. We want to do this. We want to do us today. But Lagos has other speakers as we and Lagos in achieving the Lagos mega city dream, Obalinde is one of the communities that must undergo regeneration. And the state government says it will continue to meet with community stakeholders to agree on the rehabilitation plan for the area.